Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CAD Engineer. In this video, we are going to learn how to design a spur gear by using various tools like extrude boss, extrude cut, circular pattern, and mirror command. Let's see how to design it. To start the design, we'll go to sketch tab and take sketch tool. So here we have three planes. We're going to select any one plane. So here I'm taking front plane. We'll create one circle. Let's we'll specify the dimension 30 diameter. Exit. We'll select the sketch and go to features and take extrude command. So here we'll take mid plane option and we'll specify the total depth to be 15 and OK. Now we'll select this face and click on the sketch option. We'll take circle and specify the circle from the origin. We'll specify the diameter to be 8. And we'll take rectangle command. We'll create one rectangle here. We'll make this line and this line to be equal to each other. We'll specify the distance to be 2 mm. And we'll take trim command. We'll remove the material from here and here. So we'll select this line, we'll select this point, and this origin. We'll make them vertical. Now we'll specify distance from here and do OK. Exit. We'll go to extrude cut option and we'll remove this complete material. So we have total depth is 15, or we can take through all option and do OK. Now we'll select this face, sketch on it. We'll make two circles. We'll specify the diameter 13. Another circle, diameter 23. Exit. We'll go to extrude cut option. We'll remove the material up to depth of 3 mm and do OK. Now we'll select this extrude cut. We'll go into mirror another side. So for that, we'll take mirror command. Now we need a plane at center. So we'll take one plane from here. So we can see a front plane we have at center. We'll select the front plane and do OK. Now we'll select this face, sketch on this. Now we'll draw the shape for teeth. For that, we'll take one center line. We'll specify the center line from the origin. Now we'll take line command. We'll draw one horizontal line. We'll specify the distance of the line 0.5 mm. Now we'll take three point arc. We'll draw this arc from this point. We'll define the distances. This point to this point will define vertical distance 3.28. We'll specify this point to this point horizontal distance 1.58. We'll specify the radius value 4.56. Also, we'll specify the distance from origin 12.6. Now, we'll go into mirror this arc another side about center line. We'll go to mirror option. We'll select the object to mirror and click on mirror about and select the center line and do OK. Now, we'll take three point arc. We'll select this point and this point. We'll specify some radius of this arc. 18. Exit. Now we'll select this arc and take extrude cut command. We can put here total depth is 15 and do OK. Now we'll select this extrude cut and go to circular pattern command. Now here we have to specify the direction. For that, we can select a circular face and specify the total count of teeth that we require that is 28. Do OK. Now, let's apply some material on this. To apply the material property, we'll go here, material not specified option, right click on that, click edit material. So here we have lot of materials, we're going to select steel material. Here we are going to take ANSI 1045 steel cold drawn. So these materials basically use in making gears. So to apply this, we'll click on apply and close. So we can see that we have a material property. 
Now if you want to check the mass property of this gear, we can go to evaluate option. Now here we have one option is called mass property. We can click on the mass property, select this gear. So we can see the property. So here we can see the density of the gear 0.01 gram per cubic mm and the mass is 51.71 gram and the volume 6587.13 cubic mm and the surface area 5067.73 square mm. So this is how we can see the mass property as well. So we have completed the designing of gear. If you like our video, please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching this video.